On Saturday, July 31st, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai kindly made time while still in her meditation retreat for the planet to record herself reading a story from a treasury of Jewish folklore compiled by Wang Uk. Hey, greetings to all of you in God's love. This is Radio Ching Hai, the best we can arrange at the moment by all means i'm read you a story so that you know that i still think of you and i'm working for you and with you after graciously translating the tale called satan's co-investment master elaborated on its moral lesson while further cautioning us on the grave sin of spiritual robbery which includes impersonating an enlightened master this story is not only about Satan, huh? Maybe the moral of it is that you should check out your partner before you want to cooperate with him or her to make a business. Because some people might not be as honest as uh, we think they are. Sometimes outside they look very sweet and kind and gentle and honest, but inside it's different. It happened to me also many times, yeah, including spiritual robbery and all kind of stuff. Because some people think that uh, whatever initiation I gave you, it looks like outside only, it's not the inside. And all they have to do is just learn the outside things, and then they can do the same. It's not like that. It's not like that. You have to have the power inside to help the people you want to initiate, otherwise both of you will be in trouble because uh, Maya will control you and control your so-called initiated people and make you do bad things, make your mind not pure, make your heart not clean, and then you will fall. That's the worst thing you can do to yourself, to copy any real enlightened master and claim the teaching that's yours, because you don't realize anything, you don't understand anything, you don't know anything. You never went to heaven or hell, you don't understand anything. And you just copy, just talk like a, how you say, a parrot, or like a, a record machine, you know, this will bring you to hell, truly. In the Buddhist story, it also say like that, because if you falsely claim your enlightenment level, that's the worst thing you can have. Mostly those who copy and who harm a master, they are very low level, they're near hell level, or they are hell level already, or astral, otherwise they wouldn't do that, nobody would dare. It's just that low level people with greed, you know, with uh, this uh, lowly desire for fame and gain, they would dare to do that. Or they're working for Satan, you know, for the devil. Otherwise, if they truly know from the inside, nobody would dare. So it's easy to recognize who's working for Maya, for the Satan. Even if Maya already locked in hell, but if they were already connected with the Maya before that, then the Maya's evil quality will stay within them forever and will control them. And whatever they do or whatever thing they teach is all illusion. You know, the Maya can manifest a little thing here and there to deceive people. But it's all not real. Not like the real thing that is taught by the Master. Because the Master would also have evidence. Like they have been rescued. Like their relatives and friends would go to heaven, for example, like that. And their lives have become better. If they work for Maya, it's different. It's not like that. At least I tell this story and the Buddha's teaching so that some of you would know and be ashamed. And whoever does any deceiving should stop, repent all your life. Otherwise, heaven will not relent. Even if I forgive, the law of karma will not let you go. You will have to go to the unrelenting hell, relentless hell. That's forever. No master come and go ever can rescue you. If you know how bad it is, you must stop, repent at least. Maybe you will be spared. 
I'm not sure if hell spare you, but at least your life will be spared. Remember, practice well. Just be your own master. Take care of your karma, your bad thoughts. Just purify yourself all by yourself alone. Because your karma is big enough without taking someone else's karma, especially bringing them to a wrong path, making them believe in the wrong person as a so-called master. That's the greatest sin you can commit. It says so in the Buddhist Sutra. For the spiritual matter, it's not a joke. It's not the mind game that you can play around with. You are under the watchful eyes of all the heavens and hells and earth and all beings. Nobody can escape from the eyes of heaven, from the eyes of judgment. I'm not trying to frighten you. I'm just trying to warn you, any of you, in case. Okay? Just mind your own business. Do your own practice. Stay away from spiritual robbery and pretentious attitude. Then your life may be spared, and hell may spare you. Master also took the time to express some loving well wishes. I wish all of you well, in-house, out-house, and all the supporters in different ways, like some writers or some uh, pamphlet or leaflet printers to introduce the Supreme Master TV for the public at large to help them to understand that our planet is in trouble and that they should contribute to a peaceful, sustainable world by being vegan and making peace within the family, within the neighborhood, within the nation, and within the international community. I wish so. I wish our planet is going to be alive and well forever, or for as long as it lasts, but not in turmoil, not in trouble, not in war, not in suffering for animals and for humans. Amen. May the Lord be kind and bless us with our cooperation, compassionate way of life. Thank you all. Love you, love you, love you. We humbly thank Most Benevolent Master for your guiding light that always generously illuminates our path with truth and sincerest love. Our world isn't forever dead to your compassionate concern and your efforts to ensure all souls of wellness and safety from grievous pitfalls. May beloved Master have the best of health and tranquility while on her brave mission, in the caring support of all divine beings. For the full broadcast of this lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples on Tuesday, August 17th. <laughs>